for all the YouTube there for Satan. Crime with there for Satan. And true crime. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did I get that right? No. Got a comment yesterday or the other day, two, three days ago. Very interesting. Talking about Ivan Brumba. Brumba? Yeah, Brumba. Whatever <laughs> whatever his stupid name is. Now I did do an analyst, I believe, on this guy's I don't know if I did a face. Whatever the case may be. Anyways, as I was saying, I was rudely interrupted by the pug. Um, I think I did do, I don't know if I did a face analyst on this guy, but I don't, I think I did had my thoughts and theories on the man. And, uh, like I said, I don't think this guy did it, but the way things are coming out, who knows? But who knows, maybe this guy may be having involvement. And that's the thing. You see, you got the meth crew, you got the good crew. Then you got a crew like this, which is neither of the crew. And if the good crew was in with this crew, well, then that explains why someone don't want to be exposed to. But these are just thoughts, theories, ideas. These are not the facts. These are not the proof. This is not anything... But I did find something very suspicious on this to make it something to look into. As we go, that the shop was shut down in 2015 from Ivan Brumbom, or Brumba, or Dumb, Dumbra. <laughs> Have fun with people involved with this case, because... I don't feel no remorse on their souls when their evil boogeyman gets a hold of them. He owned a specialty cheese, wine, etc. shop on Main Street, Delphi, until he closed it up in 2015. Someone local online said that the shop was being used for nefarious purposes. Nefarious. Don't use that word much. Domain Apartments was allegedly to be a sex club. Private address. We're not talking swapping. Meaning, huh, yeah, I know what that means. Something I found in the early 80s off of HBO, which very disturbed me as a child, looking at swingers. It was a BDSM stuff, snuff situation. Human child trafficking. Which is a lot of cases I covered out west that seems to have a lot of that. And like I said in another video, and I'll say it again, Florida was just hit a year ago with a big child trafficking rundown. And I tell you, Right, who knows how many of these are out there. And right, these have been going on for a long time. A long time. And who knows how long, just because a few of them got exposed now. And obviously this could have been exposed, but I wonder why it shut down the shop. But, um... I was told that the top floor Del Delmain Apartments has no windows and is soundproof. I don't know. It should be looked into. I'm looking into it. And I've got to say... You know, I might again be interrupted. Oh. Goddamn kids. So, I found something very interesting. Now, don't get me wrong... I don't think this guy is the killer because I've already gone over his stuff and looking at his profile, I think. But to have an involvement in it or to know something about it, I would say he does. Because what I came up on this is here are the apartments. So I'm just 
looking along. And when they say stuff could be up the top, leads me back. And like I say, I always have something in the back of my mind that I've seen or let alone something that resembles something that they're talking about. And right here, right now on this top floor, which could most definitely have a little, have some attic space, which there's an apartment complex that I did a clean out in, which at the very top of the buildings, and you wouldn't even expect this to be there. Because the apartments, um, just a moment, um, and what, what was up in these apartment complex, like I say, you drive by these par apartment complex, they, they don't show no indications of having a top floor, no indication, I might even take a picture of it, put it as the thumbnail, just to show that yes, some buildings say so. Go as far back as 1888 with the uh, first American serial killer, as they so claim, Mr. Triple H of the Triple H Motel. They even, they, uh, they were supposed to go over that too, but someone has claimed that that man is Jack the Ripper because he made his fortune by um, killing or robbing graves at first and then getting money selling bodies for science to science or the colleges. So, you know, medicine and stuff and bones and whatever, everything throughout the body could be searched, what we run off of, you know. Of course, everything was done back in the day, you know, to teach us, right, about medicine and how our body works. And back in them days, yeah, sometimes people didn't donate. <laughs> and if they didn't donate, people just be grave robbing anyways, stealing their jewelry and getting money for the bodies. And that's what Triple H did when he got it. All that money to get, you know, up to where he was. That's when he made his hotel in Chicago to start drawing in more people and killing them and selling their bodies, making more money. And it was a point in time when they were, when he was building his hotel that he left the country and was over there, supposedly in London, while the Jack the Ripper murders. But there's so many things out there confusing that there's another guy they have a signature of that was Jack the Ripper. And I remember watching that, but it was never, you know, told of. I mean, it was told, but I forget, it, was, it wasn't even Triple H, you know, Henry Holmes. But um, it only goes to show how old these buildings are. And as you can see, yes, this is an older version. What could be secretly stashed in this apartment complex, this one I'm speaking of, ain't as old as this. And when you walk up to the final floor... You know, everything up there is attic space for people that don't have room in their apartments. They put it upstairs in like chicken coop wired, <clears throat> you know, type looking rooms. And you lock the, you know, you put a lock on it if you need it. And all your stuff's up there. And you open up the chicken wire door and get your stuff. And I was doing a clean out and I'm like, wow. And I was thinking to myself, this don't even look like it's, it exists up here. So you can just imagine what lies beyond the door. Even at Burbank Hospital. If anybody wants to look that up in Fitchburg, Mass. There is a part of Burbank Hospital. One part has been torn down. But I have a, the other part. And I recently found out a couple years ago that there's Burbank. And I always used to say, I'm going to go to the fifth floor. All of us kids back in the day talking about, we're going to go to the fifth floor. The fifth floor was for all like the drunken, crazy people, right? People's doing that, you know, probably commit trying to commit suicide. Everybody from mental health would get locked up on the fifth floor. Even my wife's grandmother used to talk about the fifth floor. But guess what? I found out and have a video up. They have a sixth floor. And that building right has no windows. 
but you see a big concrete structure higher over the hospital. And I'm always, always, when I went up there, I always would think, what the, what is up there beyond that fifth floor? And come to find out, there's a sixth floor. And there's no windows. So you can just imagine what the hell's in this, up in this structure. Two places that I know of. And I, you know, I've been in other places too, that structures that you would never think that rooms existed. And once again, back to this. So what does this all lead to? What does this all mean? Of course you're going to ask that question. Get to it, dummy. But I'm going to show you the other angle of the building. And this is a pretty big structure of a building. You can just imagine how long that top floor runs. Huh? Including the apartments. Right, and this was the most recent view, I believe, that I've got in a screenshot, 2021. What does it all lead to? What does it all mean? Why would you ask me to ask this, to ask that? Well, let me tell you something. I don't think the guy maybe would have had something. Maybe, I, I don't think this guy Ivan killed. But if, if anything, if there's any way... Um, that he had an involvement or maybe something, knew something, I would go with that all day. Because not only is this building, right, supposed to be having a secret compartment, which I, I, when I look at it, I can almost definitely say it probably does, especially because of the fact of having roof access. Because a lot of these old buildings having flat roofs, you got to maintain them roofs. Because, of course, winter or heavy rains, got to maintain that roof. You got to check everywhere for leaks if it does occur. So I'm sure there's something up there. No doubt about it. And the only reason why I did this video and the only reason why I'm going with this person in this comment of why they say there could be something hit up there, which is the Dell main apartments is because of this. Oh, right across the street, folks. Hmm. Does that look something like children would go to? Oh, what's what's that? Yeah, that's right. What what is that? I'm sure this is an event that happens every year. Maybe not for 2020. That's right. But what is that, folks? Right across the street from this, we have this. We're going to talk about... What? Child trafficking? What better place to have a child trafficking, hitting, soundproof room... Up in an apartment building, being right across the street from this. Hmm. That seemed funny to you, because it sure does to me. Out west, boy. I'm sure they're around here. They're supposedly up in New Hampshire. I'm not sure they're down here in Massachusetts or even in the same goddamn town that I live in. But I'm telling you, there you go, folks. What's really going on in Delphi? Hmm. Makes you wonder, small town, small population. And when you do get a meth crew, child trafficking crew, there's not a lot to go on around there, I suppose. Hmm, make you want to scratch your head and say, what the fuck? What? Look at that. Hmm. Right across the street. That's right. That's very interesting. That is something to bring to Scotland Yard. Hmm. Here, here, my people. What do you think? Thank you for the comment. Looking into the building. Coming up with my thoughts, theories, ideas, and knowledge of buildings that look like you know, a normal building, not knowing that there's hitting rooms or 
a story floor that could could exist. Mm, that's my experience, I know. And I think I will take a picture of the building I'm speaking of. Just to give you a little idea of what I seen. And what I would have thought, wouldn't have thought in a million years. That that building that I was in that would ever have it. What the hell is it? Wow, look at this. You got a goddamn storage room up here. Wow, neat. Yeah, pretty classy, but what if that was something used for other than storage? Makes you wonder. So if anybody happens to live in Delphi, I give the highest recommendation. And this little carnival comes back in town to keep your eyes wide open, of course. For suspiciousness. Get yourself in and be real. Eyes wide open if you see some dirty old man trying to bring some child in here. Which I noticed that there's a laundromat and insurance company. And I'm sure the apartment doorways are... Either right along, of course, the side there or around the back. If there's any parking or a parking lot. Or even if these are even apartments anymore. But it does make one wonder, folks. Small town, small population. What's really going on? And a lot of these sex trafficking rings, you know, that I've been looking up. A lot of them are hitting out the western way. Hmm. Of course, because you do got a lot of, you know, voided space, as I'll call it. That is not properly looked at. You can be sitting there staring at space right now. And there's a big void over there. Something not, not, it doesn't look right. You don't see nothing, but the void ends up being the place where there's hidden dark secrets. Think about it. That's my thought theory idea on this. And if that is the case, or even if it's shut down, or they got closed up shop and ran out of town, it makes you think how many other Buildings throughout Delphi. Huh? Gotta keep them eyes open. Looking for suspicious things. Kids walking in there unexpectedly or don't look like they belong. Hmm. Think about it. It's time, people. This is why I say. People gotta keep their eyes open. This is why I say. You gotta be more cautious. You gotta look around more. You gotta stare at people's faces, study that face, and if it's something that comes up later on in that drawing, you know, you're not out there trying to be some sick whack job looking at people. Yo, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm not telling you to go walk up people and say, I know, yo, 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 son of a bitch, you're sick. I'm just saying, study that face, because one day it could come up as a suspect. You remembered it. You remember where that person was? That's all it is. If you see a suspicious car or something in a small town, you everybody knows their names out there, they claim. Everybody knows each other's names, right? And you should know them cars, too. Well, there's George's car. Hey, there goes Martha. Hey, there goes Sue. And then another one comes up. Who the hell's that? Don't know that. I'll take a picture of that license plate. And when something suspicious comes up, you say, well, I've seen this. Here's a plate number. Check it out. That's all you do. Simple little findings. If it comes up nothing, that's it. It comes up nothing, but at least you tried. That's what I think people should start doing these days. Especially when you got dark, hidden secrets. Yeah. Till that next video, be safe, take care, and always beware. Out.